I'm Jamie Paul, welcome to Underwood Homes. Today we have got Darren and Teddy come in. Uh, they have got some steels for us and we're going to be lifting them on the house. We've got two uh, that are sitting on this corner going all the way across to the, here, sitting on top of another steel across this bifold. And then we are bolting two more steels into the side of them. So all across there as well. And that's going to mean we can lose this pillar in the middle of the kitchen. So that's what we're doing today. Look at where it's going, work out where the hole's going at. We might be able to do that and the other plate, lift it up there. Instead of doing it up there, we'll do it. And then, yeah, we've got a plan. you got a plan. All right, so I'll just bring the forks down, yeah? Hang on, you're going to kick the wall over that. Back in an inch. <laughs> Go on the inside in there, like. Yeah, maybe up a bit. Up on top of the bricks, but in line with that, that's it. You got it? That's your center line. Right? Yeah. That's your center line, and that one going there. So if you hold that. Oh, yeah, on there. Yep. So we've got the first three on, that's all gone fairly smoothly. They're just going to start bolting these up together so that those two are set and stable and then we can start getting the other two in going that way. It's going to be a bit more tricky because we can only sit them on one end and we've got to kind of hover at this end with the forklift while we, uh, while we bolt this end up. So that should be interesting. The other day we spoke to you and we just started the garage. I think we'd got a couple of courses of bricks around and we'd up to tray or something. So since then we've been on it this week got all the inside up to six courses round and then we backed it up as well because the ground's so wonky here we're going to get scaffold about here normally you'd want scaffold a bit higher but we can't really reach any further because the ground's down so we're going to get quite a low scaffold uh, but it just make our life easier than trying to struggle and get some more height on it so yeah it's that time of year now the weather's starting to uh, get really chilly so whenever we build something now every night we just cover it up with hessian or as soon as we finish building it cover out with some hessian that just keeps the frost off it because if the frost while well, the cement's still wet if the frost gets in there it can just kill the cement like and ruin it and, and it doesn't go off properly and things like that these are the two beams that we're going to do next they're the ones that are going like the along and back into the ones we've already done so this end is going to sit on the pad stone uh, I don't know if it's top or bottom yet, but that'll just sit flat on the pad stone. And then this side sits in the web of the other steel and then gets bolted to it. Um, so this is one I'm kind of imagining is going to be a little bit awkward when we're actually up there trying to get it in.
Just like to say a big thank you to the guys at Van Haven for lending me this TTX for the week. It's been a huge help on the job. I had it over the weekend, it's perfect. The wife and the kids in the back and it's still like a really nice car inside. But then I can fit all my kit in the back and I can drive it anywhere. As you can see, you know, big tires, it's been raised. It's perfect for sight. I haven't been stuck once and I've been in some tricky places like loads of room in the back. I've put all my, I had all my tools in there this week and this tray thing is absolutely brilliant. You're not leaning over, struggling, trying to get in there and find your tools and that. This just literally brings them out to you, whatever you want. It's there, easy peasy. So if you like the look of this van and you're after something that's perfect for the family, everyday driver and perfect for work, get yourself down to Van Haven and have a look at the new TTX. Steels are in, that went really well today. It was a big help having Darren and Ted come and fit it and put all the bolts up together. Like They just know what they're doing and it's a bit easier. They work with it all the time, so it's easier for people like them to just turn up and do it. But now it's in, you get a good feel for what, you know, what I've been banging on about, what we're trying to, trying to get done here. So, so that's the corner of the house. So when we build up on top of that, that's up above us. Uh, the, the rest of this is all flat roof. So they have some nice roof lanterns in them, big open windows, letting loads of light in. So that bit looks good. The reason we had to put such beefy steels in, originally there was uh, like a, a pillar. We we're gonna have to build a pillar here. And that would have looked a bit Mickey Mouse like in the middle of the kitchen. Whereas now we've created this big open plan, kitchen diner kind of thing. And it just looks loads better. These steels are going to be hidden in the ceiling, basically. So what we do now is we clamp a 9x2 timber in there and then we hang our joists off it. So you won't actually see this steel. This is lost in the floor, like so. From downstairs, it'll just be nice big open ceiling. You won't notice there. This one is the flat roof. So this will be roof joists going across there, flat roof on top. And on the inside, we do exactly the same thing. The floor joists are going that way. And then we just floorboard it. I think we're doing the joist next week and then we might board it, might board it after Christmas, depending on how things go. Like. So that all went really well today. Fergie's been flat out on the garage, so that's pushed on a bit. Next time we see you, we'll be putting the floor joist on. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.